So here I am at a rock exposure. This is Silurian uh, sandstone, mudstone, and shales. And as you can see, you can see lots of different strata in the rock. So this strata is pretty much not deformed. So if you go down that way, a lot of the strata is very deformed. You get a lot of anticlines and synclines. Here, it's pretty much flat, so minimal deformation during the orogeny. Uh, I think it's called the Tabaranian orogeny, about 350 million years ago. You can see this is a thick lamination. You've got minor laminations in the rock as well. Got a lot of uh, quartz. Looks like you've got quartz there. And also you've got some very... So this is a uh, sandstone it looks like And it erodes very easily so And then you got this is probably mudstone. It's been Indurinated so it's actually quite hard to erode And that pretty much makes up a lot of the formation So you got a lot of sandstone And then you got a lot of these fractures here. So that's what we're talking about these fractures a lot of these Probably because of by roots and a lot of them could have been caused by stress on the rock so these planes here they're not fractures these are just a differentiation in the sediment and this uh, strata generally doesn't have uh, fossils in it the Dargol formation it's called uh, no fossils you can see how this is eroded so this is a section that is pretty soft so it erodes a lot easier so this will just keep eroding and then uh, the rock stack above it so the rock stack above it it would just eventually fall it looks actually quite pretty up there like our triangles coming out of the rock so this is a, a nice good exposure of a sedimentary rock and you can see there's a root there, root system here. So that's going straight through the rock, probably through pre-existing fractures in the rock. And then we have this line going along there. It's probably a fracture caused by stresses in the rock. But then you can see the root system goes all, no, that way. Okay, this doesn't want okay so there's a root that goes all the way down to there quite a big root of that eucalyptus tree and you can see more of it so a lot of a uh, you can see another fracture but there's a major fracture up here so then you've got some upper fractures and you've got cracks in the rock. A lot of these are probably caused by stresses when they were deep underground, but here is a main fracture here. Main fracture, looks like it has minor lamination of uh, quartz. You can see probably quartz on that one. So this is the hanging wall. Okay, let's see, that's the hanging wall, it's a foot wall. This is a major fracture going down here. You can see a lot of uh, uh, breccia. It's in the rock. And the fracture goes all the way up. Okay, I'm using my gimbal. gimbal so it doesn't actually behave as you want it. And there is like this lamination here looks like it matches up with this lamination here um so laminated so it looks like it's offset by about i don't know 10 centimeters or so not really a major movement but you know the movement is enough and you can see here's a another movement so here's the bottom of it there's the bottom of that one or probably here so it's about 10 centimeter movement roughly it's not really a major movement. I'm not surprised considering that it's pretty flat. So, and then we have. No. Oh. And 
that's pretty much a major fracture that is here. You, if we go along, you can see, looks like there's a major crack. Could have been existing beforehand, or could have been a root penetrate and split the rock in half. So that's what you need to take into account when you look at these rock exposures. A lot of these could be caused also by a frost fall. So sometimes we get frosty nights, rock crystals, water in between the rock. When it freezes, it expands. That can actually cause it to uh, fracture as well. Or even increase the fracture of a pre-existing fault. And here you can see the lamination up here. So if I can get up there, it's quite a steep embankment. So this is pretty soft. Looks like sandstone. Um, this looks like mudstone. Mudstone. You can see this erodes very easily. So this is the weak point in the rock. And it continues on around here. So, but this looks like it might be petering out into a, a mudstone. So, then we have... I've not seen any fossils in here. So it's a pity. Hopefully one day these exposures will come across a fossil bearing locality. So it's actually quite nice. And <laughs> this has been carved because of the road. So on this side used to be exposure as well. Okay, it's gone a bit dark. Um, but it's been overgrown with grass. And this side is it's still well exposed. But as you can see where all the rock fall is actually being f uh, produced in soil. A lot of the plants are growing into it. So you can see up here how the plant has put its roots into the cracks in the rock. So that's it for this video. Just like to show you that fracture and uh, enjoy learning.